have a box to unbox today on this video about the contents of this box. So, we go find something to cut the tape holding this box open with, and we can get inside this box and see what's inside. Oh, look, there's a clue on the box. How interesting. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, I have had this box for actually quite a long time and it is high time that I got it out, remember who it belongs to and fix it for them, refurbish it for them, because yeah, that is what is inside of here. One way or another, let us get some of the wrapping paper out, although we might have to go to the main star of the show. Yes. Another Hoover constellation. Oh, there is one now looking lay orange colour. Ooh, with a different switch. Very nice indeed. And then, oh, hello. Very not genuine hose sat right there and two wands one of which is also not genuine yeah. very nice indeed right there is nothing else of note inside of the packaging it can sit back inside of its box until i'm ready to post the machine off to its own R. so yes we have ourselves a hoover the hose is not a Hoover Flex hose. What this reminds me a lot of are Electrolux hoses actually, plastic like that. I'll be honest, it's a lot better than the original hose. And crikey, not being stretchy is going to change the actions of this machine quite a bit. It doesn't swivel on that side, although it is actually, look, I think, undoing itself or no it was doing itself up my mistake so we'll leave it done up but that doesn't swivel this end does we have ourselves a suction relief tube for the raw power of a hoover constellation and yeah two ones there we bring you down a bit and we'll have a closer look at the machine itself well somebody has gone to some effort of protecting the poor thing's handle as you've seen before when I've taken these and boxed them up the handle always stays off. What are we looking at here? We are looking at it's a Hoover, it's a Hoover 867A from oh, crikey, 1980 I'd imagine that would be with a zero and a seven. And that does sort of tie up with this very, very late switch. The colour is also a bit of a different shade to the other sand glow ones that we have had. Oh, we have a flex with, again, what I'd imagine could be a genuine cable. This is what came with the Hoover Juniors of the era. And look at this, look, we have ourselves a plug and somebody has put a modern protector on it. Oh, it's a nice plug. It's an Electra. Focusing on that. Look at that. Very nice Electra plug on our appliance. Date appropriate, I would imagine, indeed. Hmm. Not too shabby at all. Actually, this is really quite good. Let's, where are we? Pop the hood and see if the joy carries in and ooh, it does. We have a bag. It's not a genuine bag, but it is a bag. We have a filter, not a genuine filter, but it is a filter. Hello, this isn't too bad at all. I mean, it's, it's still filthy in the places where they usually do, but you know what? I think we're going to put that down I'm going to plug him in and see if he's any good as he is. We take this lovely plug oh, on this lovely flex and find some power. 
the smell of old dust coming from it which is pretty usual oh don't think that in fact don't think that because yeah that paintwork is remarkably good i'm always bagging on about looking underneath here and that's very nice indeed and yeah i do think that this white hose does work significantly in its favor as a machine very nice indeed the non-genuine ones you're never going to tell when they're just sat side by side. The copy ones did get very good indeed. I think this is another complete minter, complete, well not minter, but complete original one. They just need a little bit of a spruce up and a tidy out and they'll be back to fighting for it again. So stay tuned and I'll show you how he comes up. I think a lot of it's going to be in the hoses there. Uh, in the hose, you know, because I've had to get into all of there, into all of the grime crevices and nooks and crannies in that hose. The rest of it should be quite simple. But we shall see, and I shall show you. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and this, will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>